met our first proper sorcerer who well who wasn't trying to kill us. I suppose that Gowrie could be a, is a, is probably a sorcerer as well, but um, this is a bit more declarative. Um, she was exiled from Ray Lucaria. I don't know if that is next to the Town of Sorcery. I guess when we explore the Town of Sorcery more thoroughly, we will find that out. So, um, we're going to head in, a, in this direction here now. Because we saw all of those worms, the stone worms here. This is probably another jail. So, we can have a crack at the person who's there, but it might not be the best idea. Now, there's obviously somewhere across this bridge here, but... Um, I feel like it might be a better idea to, to head to Limgrave East and then we can kind of maybe sweep up this in this direction and kind of head over to Stormvale as we go through this area. I think that would be a good idea. I guess if we get to the bridge we can maybe make our way down to the coast and then we can head back through the woods and stuff. But, um, I think that I don't think we've been to this beach so yeah no no we've been to that beach so it's these woods that we need to have a look in I think. So, we're going to head in a uh, southerly direction. Check out that jail. And, uh, this has been food for thought, right? Sorcery seems to look really fun. But I've not really discovered most of the other enchantments. So, when we head back to the round table hole. I will read everything that the enchantment guy, the two the two fingers guy, the servant of the two fingers uh, wants us to. So now we we cleared out that camp last time, so we want to just head in this direction. Oh, there's a little camp here. Maybe there's a merchant here. How have I not seen this? Okay, there's no one here. Oh yeah, all these guys are fighting. Oh right, yeah, we have been here. That's where Yura is. Okay, so if we go this way, we can probably take the, all these guys out while they're fighting. And head towards this great tree. String. Great. Smithing stones. Yeah, I'd like to upgrade. Um... I am. Um... Sorry, Torrent. My torch and my finger seal. I think we've got enough smithing stones to do that. And what? Is down. Okay, so this was where that wolf was. So there are uh, demi humans here, interestingly. I don't think we checked out this particular little section though, right? Alright, we can one shot these guys now. Where's my poise game? Yeah, that is sick. I got a bit cocky. Hopefully we can find a sacred tear spiked club. Cool. Falcon. Nice. We're getting some drops here. Yeah, I think we aggroed like the whole group, so... Now that white wolf was around here somewhere, unless it was one of those guys that I just didn't recognise. No, it was a bit further down, I think. More beast men. Hey! Right, there's a stutter. How bizarre. How bizarre. I haven't closed the game. 
It's so bizarre, man. Alright, I'm gonna have to restart everything again, so um getting a little frustrating, but I'll wait for the next stutter. After the next stutter, just because we're in the middle of something, I'll restart the game, because I will have to. What a bizarre game in terms of performance, man. I have no idea how to get it to work consistently. Right, so there's a little bit of woods here. It's probably full of demi-humans. might have some special items in it as well. Hopefully it doesn't have any giant bears. Okay, you can see a Miranda flower over there and several smaller ones. Now I don't know what this region to the south is called unless it's Limgrave South. But the uh, it doesn't look too dissimilar to the rest of Limgrave does it? I think that there's a bridge going across if I remember right from the map. Okay, we've got something there. Might just be a torch. But it's something out of the ordinary. A big chasm. Anyone waiting in ambush? You little bastards. I didn't even get anything good for it. Now we could probably jump that at full speed, right? Yeah, easily. Miranda flowers everywhere. Yeah, I c you can totally make that jump. Well, I want to go and check out the jail first. What I'm presuming is the jail on the map, because there, the there were the stone worms all hanging around it. Ugh. Be quiet. Yeah, we're due another stutter, man. They come at like a reg at regular intervals when, when the game is in that position. For whatever reason it does it. Right, so yeah, if we go up here, I think that this is a jail. A, um, a goal, a jail, as you're supposed to pronounce it. A jail? A jail. We think it's Irish. Yeah, here are the worms. Seems like there's a lot more of them around this one. Now, the last one was way too hard, obviously. Forlorn Hound Ever Jail. And I saw it from. Oh, what the, what's that? There's like a statue over there. Let's go check that out first. While we're waiting for the next major stutter. <laughs> and there's obviously a load of stuff beneath us in the chasm from that led from where Patches was. And this leads to this bridge that leads to what I'm guessing might be Limgrave South. Oh, no, no, no. This isn't that chasm, is it? Oh, what am I talking about? No, Patches is over here. I'm getting myself completely turned around.
Right, I don't think we've seen one of these before. Soldiers everywhere. Oh, we did come over here, actually. I just didn't see it. Right, fair enough. Yeah, because we, we took out all everyone in this camp, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Starlight shards. Used to gradually recover FP. Cool. Um, an ephemeral sliver that gives off a pale blue glow. What remains of a passing flash of starlight used to gradually recover FP. A prized item that was once used in the Eternal City as an ingredient in intoxicating droughts. Is this a one-time use? Yeah, look. Number stored. It's a one-time use, I think. I don't want to use it and then waste it. So we've not had another stutter. When I feel like there should have been one. I have no idea what to think of this game at times. Right, so what I think I'll do is I'm going to head down here, but then I'm going to take a left and try and get to Limgrave East is my plan. So let's jump down here. These, I think, yeah, these are like clear platforming signs. Excuse me. So that's the defended gate. You'd think that there might be a site of grace near here, but I can't see any um, remnants of grace, whatever they're called. Is there a beach that we could go around on? Nope. But yeah, I feel like you can crawl around the edge here to get to Limgrave East, so. Which would be cool, because we didn't actually explore the forest at all after we killed the giant bear. Which there were several of. We need to remember that. Look at this view, guys. The game is stunning. I think I, I think I've, I'm all right with my balance of fast travel and exploration now. I think I got a little bit carried. Oh right, there was a way down from the cliff at least. It's good to know. I might need some more thin beast bones, but I'll let them off. Yeah, this is the graveyard we saw from up top. Uh, we'll head over to the building first. That could be interesting. I need to go in this graveyard once. Sorry. These are my throwing darts. They're special. There's another wolf over there. There's several more. You don't have to do this, wolves. Nice. Right, I'm going to head up to this um, castle. I feel like we've not really tackled a, something like this. We've got a beach here, obviously. Let's have a look for items. We don't need to fight the octopus, but... There might be a cave down here. Just a golden rune, fair enough. Looks like it could be a cave, but probably not. Can you imagine if all beaches worked like that? It was just a sheer cliff, and then it was instant death. Hey! A tortoise. We've got a sight of grace. Beautiful.
Might as well rest, right? Top ourselves off. I'm, I, d I don't want to allocate a flask to FP just yet. Although, um, I could get cure poison on there. We've got the soap, haven't we? The soap will do. I know the soap doesn't cure poison, it cures poison buildup. Is that a glowing person there? Yes, yeah, see, that's so bizarre. We've not had another stutter. Like, they usually happen every five minutes once they start happening. I really don't understand how this game works at all. Okay, more demi-humans. Hi there, he's looking up at the at the castle. The demi-humans wax wrath. Now their mother's been taken. Oh. Where are you, Lord Kenneth? The knight, the devil by blood. Lord Kenneth. The least intimidating name of all time. Lord Kenneth. But why was their mother taken then? Just to weaken them or? Okay, these are slightly tougher demi humans. More clubs. Yeah, there we go. Told you it was going to come back. Get up here. Right. We'll just have a quick look at this glowing thing on the ground. Open for business? Who's open for business? Lord Kenneth? Maybe this thing here? Anyway, I'm gonna go back to the site of grace. Oh no, I don't need, I can just quit here, anyway. I just need to uh, restart everything. All right, I'll, I'll be back in a sec. All right, let's go look for Lord Kenneth, who, I suppose if you're English, that just sounds like a character from Coronation Street at this point. <laughs> But, um, let's go and find him. So I guess... Oh! He's shooting people. Oh yeah, the, the demigod... The demigods. Demi-humans are... Where are my uh, runes? Oh, I must have left them at... The Opera River. Yep. So the demi-humans are... Attacking, he's got a ballista. You can storm the castle. Now right, he's got Godric's soldiers. Interestingly enough. Oh, that was close. High frames. Oh, he's got a great sword. Nice sword, man. I've got the same one. Oh! That was so lucky. Oh no, we've got a pumpkin head. Yeah, he did seem kind of weak, the one we defeated. Hello, pumpkin head. So I guess they're just normal enemies. Now, he's got a flail. Right on the head. I like these guys, <laughs> I don't know why. 
pumpkin heads. I heard that ballista cock then. Another falcon, I need to check that one out. Right, this should be another golden seed, yeah? Still not got any of the other type though. Which is what we really need. Cool! I guess this is, is maybe just another kind of dungeon. But it's a castle, so it's new to me. Um, let's do a cheeky heal. At least we can move while we do it. Kenneth! <laughs> Lord Kenneth! Where are you, sir? Guess we can explore the outskirts. On the way out. We've got some dude throwing stuff at us. Fort. Uh, hate. Heart. Blood rose. Of course she's got rats. Enough! I bet those would have blown up on me. Okay, we're nearly dead. I'm gonna get out of here. Yeah. Right, I don't know who's throwing that one. Oh, where the hell did you come from? Go for him up him first. These barrels obviously explode. Oh, they've got a. Uh, oh, God. Heavy boy. Come out of here. Whoa, he really pursued us. Um, okay, he's got a sword, though. What are you doing, man? Oh! Nice! He like, uh, did he hurt himself to do that? Oh, God. I've got no poise. Yeah, I'm lucky. Ash of War Bloody Slash. That's pretty cool. Another cookbook. I love a good cookbook. It was Nomad 6. Blood Grease. Okay, all blood stuff, so bleeding equipment. Sick, man. Oh, yeah, and we found these blood roses. That's pretty cool, man. Uh, did that give us shield grease as well? Drawstring. I don't think we can craft shield grease yet, but we have we have some. Okay, so was that was that uh, Lord Kenneth? <laughs> Bloody Ken. Ken and Deirdre. I should have used some fire actually to blow those barrels up while the guy was there, but with all the others throwing stuff at us. Oh, Mr. Tin Hat. What have you done? I hate that we can't fire these. All right, all right, all right. Now, that might have been Kenneth, who we just killed, because he had a special item on him, on him after all. But, uh, oh, no, no, we, we can go further up. Let's skirt the edges first. Nice. I want to upgrade our torch. There's... Whoa! 
frivolous as it sounds. Or is. We can't summon torrent in here, so can't really do any major platforming. It does look like we could get over there. <laughs> oh, Why have I done this? Yeah, I'm not sure how we get round though. Yeah, I don't think this is a good idea. All right, Kenneth, where are you, mate? You took the uh, demi-human woman, right? That's what, that's what the thing said. Or their leader? I'm sure it said woman. Oh, I know this. Another chest. Please, man. Don't be another transporter trap, please. I mean, I don't mind going to new places, but... It, feel, it feels like whenever I come back to Limgrave... It's like, um... The walk of shame. Dectus medallion left. Okay, so we need the other half. I'm guessing that's a talisman? No? Dectus. We found this sanctuary stone, a rare piece of stone fragment found near places where ruins have fallen from the sky. Material used for crafting items. It feeds and strengthens the light as it shines. There it is. There's a key. Left half of a split medallion depicting the Erd tree. Brandishing the medallion with both halves conjoined will activate the Grand Lift of Dectus, connecting the Atlas Plateau to Lyernia. The right half is said to reside in Far Faroth, in the Dragon Barrow, far to the east. My god, how much more? This, this world is massive, dude. The Grand Lift of Dectus. Right, let's write this down. This is quite memorable, but you never know, right? I forget things all the time. In the Atlas Plateau. Yeah, and Leonia. <laughs> and that, the far faro. In the in the dragon barrel. Dragon barrel. So I guess that would be like the maybe the, the dragon's original home. So that's probably further east. Than the Badlands and Horalu and everything. Excellent. Alright. I'm happy with that. Okay, now we need to find this flask of wondrous physic, preferably. Is there anything else in this fort? Let's do a cheeky ladder slide. Not Dark Souls or... Sorry, it's not a From Software game without a cheeky ladder slide. Is it? Alright. So let's head through the Mistwood. And find this new flask. Now... There were different kinds of flasks or healing gourds in Sekiro, so I'm guessing 
it's something similar to that. So, like a flask that can heal poison damage or scarlet rot damage. And I forgot to check out that new Ash of War. Colossal weapons. Weird. Okay. Yet to find a colossal weapon. What the hell is this, though? Giant dog? Oh, no, it's one of those bears. Look at the markings. One of those berserkers, I'm going to call them, because I'm a witcher three obsessive. Right, let's have a look around the edges. I'm guessing uh, uh, that they're maybe puffins. I'm no... Aviary expert. Avian expert, sorry. Maybe we've helped out the demi humans, even though we killed most of them on the way here. <laughs> Another lily. These are faded. No, no, these are normal earth leaf flowers. Okay, that's what that's all right. This guy got taken down by the ballista. Glowstone, typical demi human. So where was this? There it is. So let's get this uh, new seed. I'm not going to put it into the blue flask just just yet. I feel like maybe when we're on near double figure flasks. Two golden seeds. Seriously? Alright. Be that way. We've got uh, 3,000 runes on us. Now everyone's going to respawn. Maybe not. Yeah, they are. Alright, so we'll stay on the beaten path. We'll, we've got a marker here. There's the way to see off a river. And these look like steps, maybe. So we'll go, we'll have a little look there, there too, and here, some ruins there. I can't really see anything marked in the forest beyond, but let's just skirt around these guys because they're quite quick, they're likely to pursue us, so. We'll just have a look at our markers. Hopefully avoid any of those berserkers, the giant bears. Well, obviously, probably... Hey, an owl! We've not seen one of these yet, have we? I love owls. They're so sassy. I just don't care. Because they're like an apex predator, right? Essentially, so... That might be a demi-human... No, it's a slumbering berserker. Mistwood ruins. Oh, don't mind if I do. Cheeky 400 runes. Now, who is howling? Oh, look at the atmosphere. It's thick. Dense with mist in the mist wood. What oh, a chest. A chest next to a slumbering berserker. If Patches was gonna impersonate a bear or a wolf, that was that would be how it would sound. 
<laughs> oh my. There were two chests, weren't there? Don't mind me, Mr. Bear. This chest better not. Nice. Um, so we need what, six of these? And now we need two seeds to upgrade our flask, which I don't appreciate. Is that, is that the bear making that bloody noise when he's sleeping? Oh, uh, bled the half wolf. It's an NPC. Bled the half wolf. Are you seriously an NPC? No! Oh, Matt, how much of an idiot am I? Oh, you killed that poor boar! I will make you pay for this in justice. I didn't see the uh, the stairs. Wow, that did no damage. Oh no, it didn't. Fine. Get out of it! Mr. Boar, it's all my fault, mate. Right. So we could have snuck by him and gone to see this NPC, so hopefully he's not annoyed. Like, I hope that wasn't his, like, pet or something. So I'm guessing that he, this guy's a demi-human. This blade. Where the hell is he? Not another one, please. An axe talisman. Enhances charge attacks. The Lord who led the long march bore an axe, and his loyal warriors honed him, honored him, sorry, by wielding axes of their own, making them very effective at dealing decisive blows. The Lord who led the long march. In a war of some kind, obviously. That kind of looks like... Uh, I'm not sure who it looks like. How much health are we going to lose if we use this? It was a significant amount. But more damage, though. I'm partial. We're going to need to put invest in health. But I need to find this wolfman. Wolfman. Dude, come, where are you? He, 
he should not be this difficult to find. Am I completely losing it here? Howl for me! Wow, this is embarrassing. We came here, we came around this corner, saw the chest, probably got distracted. Patches was right about us. We are a petty thief. Seriously, man, where is he? Is he up? He must be further up. Let's do some platforming. Yeah, he must be up there. Oh. Oh. I don't think we want to be in these woods at night, to be honest. Right, we can get up here, I think. Dude, where are you? Oh! How am I going to get up there, man? Blade! How are we going to be able to talk to him? We need to get him down because we obviously can't get up there. Is he going to come down when the moon comes out? Is he howling at the moon? I can't lock onto him. I think one of these has... Hey! Know, there we go. Hey! Hey! Nope, nothing. Where's oh. me little creepy stone? Okay. Hi, mate. Are you going to come down? Alright, it's night time in the mist wood. This is not good. But we know where he is, at least. I have no idea what's going to get him to come down, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move on. We know he's here. Blade the Half-Wolf. All right. Oh man, these berserkers are everywhere. Let's take it easy. And there are regular bears all around as well. Sugar. They're really fast, I have to remember. He's got glowing eyes, hasn't he? He'll be worth like 3,000 runes. I don't think we can get to that marker. I think that's up on the cliff. We've got a sight of grace. Beautiful. Someone holding the torch over there. Looks like just a normal Godric soldier, but it could be... An NPC, I suppose. Yeah, we're doing alright for runes, but we're nowhere near a level up.
Let's just check. Yeah, I'll wait, I'll wait. I know we've got usable portable runes, sorry. This is the main path from Limgrave West. We don't need you. The third church of Marika, north of the Mistwood. It's just, it must be there, it must be here, really, to be honest, so. Let's head down here first. We've got plenty of rower raisins for deer. That guy's up there pointing. Hello? Is anybody there? Someone who might be interested in rescuing the great Kenneth Height. Servant to the True Order and celebrated repudiator of the false. Oh, Ertry. Grant me sucker. I might have killed everyone. Hello? In your castle. Is anybody there? Someone who might be interested in rescuing the great Kenneth Height. Servant to the True Order and celebrated repudiator of the false. Oh, Ertry. Grant me sucker. Great. A posh lord. Ah, you come to lend me your aid, have you? Well, that's... That's very kind, but, um... No. No, the help <laughs> is very much appreciated. Even Posh from bastard. a tarnished. Despite appearances, nobility is no prerequisite to serving the true order. You might have heard of me. Kenneth no. Height. Next in line is the rightful ruler of Limgrave. Okay. Young Tarnished. I would have a boon of you. Okay. I want you to take back my fort. It lies to the south, beyond the Mistwood. I already did. A knight commander from Stormvale took it. A fool! And plumb mad to boot. Simply obsessed with blood. Alright. Hmm? What's this kind, sir? Remarkable. The knight commander dead. Already. I work, I work fast, <laughs> Kenneth. <laughs> a blessing if ever I chanced upon one. Fine work, I say. Fine work indeed. I doubt that it was your intention, but the deed is done, and I commend you. Now, this is your reward. Go on. It's yours for the keeping. An Erd Steel Dagger. Is that it? Right then. Time for me to head to the fort. I've much to do. First, I'll have to re-establish communication with the Demi-Humans. Mm. What's that look? You don't believe me? Well, under the Erd Tree, co-mingling with the Demi-Humans is made possible. Even the Vulga shall not be left behind under the rule of true order. Which is why I, Kenneth Height, next in line as the rightful ruler of Limgrave, have sworn to uphold it. Just you watch, my friend. Just you watch. Okay, so maybe we've progressed the quest in a weird order. Ah, yes. I've, uh, I've been meaning to ask. Oh. Would you like to enter my service? I see bright things in your future, stout warrior. Enter into my service and learn the workings of the Erd Tree's true order. And who knows? Perhaps sometime down the line, the grace of gold will return to those tarnished eyes of yours. What say you? A fine accord, is it not? I don't know. But, alright, who am I to turn down work? Very well, very well indeed. It's the Covenant? I knew I saw something in you. I shall await you at my fort. Okay. We shall hold a ceremony for your knighting there. Oh, I really? <laughs> I see great things ahead of us. We are truly by the Erd Tree blessed. Yeah. Right then, I've much to do. Right then, I've much to do. All right, Kenneth. You're a bit posh, but I'll let you off. You gave me a dagger. I would have preferred some sort of cash. Oh, we got falcon, falcons, and falcons as well. 
curved sword with a single-sided blade delivers slashing attacks with its sharp blade but is, in is ineffective against thick armor and hides covered in tough scales. Wielders of the weapon employ a unique style that enhances attacks with spinning motions. Uh, these are good for being dual wielded, I imagine. Where did that dagger go? Oh, there it is. Earth Steel Dagger. An Earth Steel Dagger with a grass crest engraved upon its blade. Carried by the Erd Tree Royalty for self defense in times of peace. Though forged to a high standard, the weapon is difficult to wield. Attack power also scales with faith. Cool. Erd Tree Royalty. Alright, Kenneth, we'll go and visit him. In the next video, perhaps. Well, af after we rest at a site of grace, I imagine. Right, there's a graveyard here. These are usually a good source of golden runes. Good trap. Uh, Fever's cookbook. Did it say Fever or Fervor? How many times am I going to go the long way? This looks like a magic thing. Maybe not. A record of crafting techniques left by a man who was utterly captivated by Saint Trina. He continued to search for her in his slumber. Acquire the knowledge to craft the following, a sleep pot. Okay, so sleep is this mysterious status effect for us, right? Right, there's a scarab beetle down there. We've got a big terry. That looks definitely looks like the, 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 ch the church or the chapel that we're after. And we've got some platforming steps to get down here. Let's be careful. Right, torrent. Now, we obviously we killed the stone Terry, but we've not killed a regular Terry. Good work, torrent. Um, so, I think we should have a crack on horseback at a big Terry. Even though this one looks a little different than the regular ones. I just hate them so much, I just need to kill one. And I haven't really had a crack on horseback. Unlucky mate, teabag someone else. Oh! Sorry Torrent. Tested Terry. Then he pulls it out. Nope. Haha. <laughs> oh! Yes! Death to you, Terry! I hate those guys. Right, there's probably a bunch of other stuff to explore first, but um, there's, there's a sight of grace in here at least, and we'll be able to level up, I think. Three runes. One of Jeffrey's relatives. There's something sinister going on here. Of course, a dragonfly. Oh! oh man, I hate these things. Just die. Leave me and Jeffrey's cousin alone.
These things are the worst. It's going to make me waste all my darts. Thank you. I'll make a necklace of your heads. I've not got any beast bones. Maybe there's another nomad in here. Third Church of America. Exactly where it said it was. There's something on the beach. Might just be a tree, to be fair. Okay, now I'm going to guess that that's a sacred tear. That is that is my guess. It looks significant. No, I was, I was wrong. This is the sacred tear. And this is the flask. Yes. You can find crystal tears at the bases of minor earth trees and elsewhere throughout the lands between. At Sites of Grace, you can mix two crystal tears in the flask of wondrous physic. Okay. This will allow you to create elixirs with various custom effects. Crimson Crystal Tear. The Flask of Wondrous Physic. Interesting. So, how the hell does this work? Oh, okay. Physics with various custom effects. Restore half of total HP in mixed physics. Temporarily boost stamina. Enhance charge attacks for a time. Now, how does this work? Hang on. First thing. Let's use a sacred tier. That's, that's huge. So, we'll have seven now. And it, the, no, no. We've still got six, but they heal more. Um, should we just give it a try? I don't know. Uh, these obviously, I think, feel like these are reusable. I like enhanced charge attacks, and that kind of goes hand in hand with the stamina boost. And then, is that that? Have we, have we mixed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we can use it once. I like that. And the grease. Cool. Right now, let's make sure we don't miss anything. Knocking around here. That's really cool. Kind of wanted there to be a merchant here. Oh, I should have leveled up, shouldn't I? Let's do that. I need some runes. Is that enough? Maybe. I said I was going to get Faith to 12, so I shall. Uh, I think I might focus on Vitality next. Uh, maybe, I mean, maybe I could get my Strength. Well, I need, I'm going to just spread it out. I might just get each one to 25. So we'll probably do Vitality next. We've got a Beach. Beaches are always cool. They're picturesque. picturesque. I kind of feel like I'm about to get ambushed, though. Ah! Ah! 
I mean, just why? Why, crap? Why? Right, we've got our charge attacks for, haven't we? Ow. Oh! We are hitting hard now. You see, you see a nice little lovely open beach? Of course not. I said it myself, it still scared me. We've got a non-ambush crab. And uh, where did I leave? There were some more ruins. Yeah, over here. I don't think this is anything significant though. Could be wrong though. Alright. But there, there, there is this minor earth tree here, so we could find more uh, sacred stuff here. Now I know that there are bears here and vampire bats, obviously. Ow! Hey! hey, hey. I've got no beef with you, normal bear. You seem like a nice chap. Yeah, look, look, look. We've got this light here. <laughs> this seems kind of magical. This is, is this purely just the decoration? Hard to say. We're near enough to the tree. No, no, no. Leave me alone. Come on, man. Right, so here's the um, the well to Siopra River. So the giant um, berserker bears will be near nearby. Whether they've gone to sleep somewhere, I, I don't know. No, he's still rubbing himself on that tree. So which is the great tree? There it is. Yeah, we ran around this without even realizing what it was. I don't need any more flasks. Guess there's no sacred tears. Because we did run around this last time, I think. That's a. Uh, is that white or gold? Uh, red? Slightly different. Nice ground slam. Don't mind me, guys. Okay, it doesn't look like there are there's any special items around the great tree, unfortunately. Would be nice, but. 
Maybe the one from this tree was at the church, so... Right, I'm a bit turned around here, so... I feel like our target here should be uh, this, uh, this place. So we're gonna probably just head back to the church. Rest there. Hello there, Puffins, if that is indeed what you are. Nothing too crazy happened in the woods at night. Now, we could probably get another level, but I think it's best to save some of these golden runes for a rainy day, you know, when we really need to buy something. Oh, big Terry's back. And obviously this is Marika, this statue, so... Let's stare at her for a second. Okay, long braided hair. What is behind her there? Is it water perhaps, or is it just decoration? Queen Marika the Eternal. Alright guys, I am going to leave that one there. We'll head up to this new location as we make our way back up to Stormvale Castle. I think that's going to be my plan. We'll just kind of feel like we've explored everywhere in Limgrave and then... So we'll, we'll hop up here, check this place out. Definitely don't go that way. <laughs> And then make our way, just explore everywhere around here. And then we'll go and have a crack at Margit the Fell. After all that, I think that's a good idea. Because we need to progress the main story in reasonable amounts. And um, we need to go talk to Kenneth as well. But we'll maybe do that after we've explored everywhere here first. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave me a like if you did. And just remember everyone, never trust and on crate. I'll see you next time.